a refugee is my new identity, my new status, which I got when I was stripped off from my birthright. The right to be in my country. Remember, it is not by choice, but due to the circumstances. If I were a bank card, people would tell me that I'm a declined bank card or a rejected bank card because I've lost my birthright. I've lost where I can declare this is my country of birth due to circumstances. And I've got a new status right now, which I am answering to wherever I go to fill in the forms. A refugee is my new status. Have my daughter from school, and if she's asked, what's your status? She'll say, I'm a daughter of a refugee. Yes, she's a daughter of a refugee. Remember, it is not by choice but it's due to certain circumstances which drive me away from my country of origin. Cry refugee, cry no more. Cry till the elephant see a egg. But I always say thank you to the British government which have allowed to accommodate people like us and hear our anguish cry and accommodate, the, accommodate us in their country. But now I'm a human being. I've got this new status. A refugee, which I always say, whenever you are filling in form, everywhere you go, what's your status in the country? You write, I am a refugee. So I think Kevin Samuel, you know, for my back, it's much more secure for Samuel and I. And it's the sign of bond of me and Samuel. Material to secure Samuel on me, especially on summer because the Mbereko is too hot. But for his safety, I can say that health and safety in my country, you have to have this. So to put out, put Samuel on my back, I always do this whilst I'm sitting on a setting so that I will make sure. I've got him, even if he fall down, he won't hurt himself. Then I'll do this. And do. I'll tuck it in where I've put the knot already. And this way. I don't need the monitor because I'll be acting like a monitor on something else. They were laughing and they were waving to me because I'm carrying him on my back. Because what we do in our country, what we do in our country, it's like you walk, or you walk about three to four kilometers with your baby at the back. In Africa, it will be a long, long distance. You'll be walking like uh, three to four kilometers to go and uh, get some shopping for yourself. So the only way you do is to carry the baby like this. You go for your shopping. Like right now, I don't need there. If I was like pushing some, you know, uh, those which I cannot put on my frame, I have to look for someone to carry them for me. Don't do that. Yeah, get him on. No, you didn't. I'm not going to do that. 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 I'm not I've recognized that you are from Zimbabwe with the way you are carrying your baby. Then I said, yes, I am from Zimbabwe. I said, are you not afraid to be asked so many questions about carrying the baby? At the baby? Then I said, ah, I'm used to that and I have to stick to my culture. So, uh, yeah, the other day I was like carrying my baby and he was, that's the time when he turned 12 weeks. And I was carrying him in the back. But, um, some of them, they've never been seen that, you know, you can carry a small person in your back. They're like, are you not suffocating him? <laughs> Is he not feeling pain <laughs> because of the position? 
If, it's like if I put him back on my back, his, his tummy will be flat on my back. So it um, makes him comfortable from the colic pain. So I was trying to explain all those parts. Uh, the old man was not convinced about it. He was thinking probably I've done this because I could not afford a uh, push chair. Because the way he was talking, you could see someone who is not like he, trying to say that, you know, you are stupid or what. But you are someone who was concerned with the love of a child, you know. Saying, no, you wanted to protect the child, although it's my child, but he wanted to protect him. Still, it is hard for you, refugee because there are certain factors within your identity, within your status, which are irrepressible. I am a refugee. By this identity, I feel as though I am not whole. I'm not complete. I feel that I'm not dressed. I'm naked in front of people. This feeling comes by being cut off from the past of your origin. I sometimes feel like I am in a total institution where people are cut off from the past, where people are cut off from the outside world and become inmates. Depression and anger will visit me when I think the circumstances which made me to fly 10 to 15 hours in the air, going to an unknown destination. The destination which I became to know when I reach. Oh yes, here am I as a refugee. I'm here in Britain. I have to learn new style of living. I have to learn country rules and regulation, culture and language.